Well, I got the job. I run the um, global technical support team and the training department for Comscope's uh, distributed coverage and capacity solution, DAS. Um, what that means is basically helping customers post-deployment in the, in the field if they have any questions or they have issues, um, and also providing trainings, uh, certifications for our customers and partners. I started my career in, in, uh, in high techno technology about 22 years ago. And I tried different functions. I tried um, R&D, I tried um, PLM, which is product line management, a little bit of technical sales. And about 10 years ago, I stumbled into a role that someone said, we, we have a new product and we really need someone to uh, support it. It's a new introduction. And I said, yeah, why not? And I tried it. And I really liked it. And as I said, I liked it for the fact you can see immediate gratification. You know you're making a difference. You know, it feels good to be able to say, yes, here was the issue. I resolve it, and the customer is happy, and, and we can see the results. Whereas in R&D, most of my cycles were you know, six months, a year long. Um, so I haven't looked back. I've been in technical support for 10 years now um, for various product lines. And I joined Comscope two and a half years ago doing the same thing. Well, there's no lack of excitement, I can tell you that. Um, so as we said, my team is frontline support for customers. So while you know, I come to work with a to-do list, it could change any minute. Right? It depends on what's the escalation of the day, and, and I love it. I, I think it gives a chance to make a difference, and you right away you can see a customer having a problem. OK, let's get together. Let's figure it out. And um, it's good to see it resolved. It's a great initiative and, and you know I'm completely supported. I think uh, uh, while women have such an important role in high technology, we see like when I looked at our trainings, I'm like why are there no women taking our certification trainings, right? What's keeping them away from it? Yeah. And I think we, uh, we can improve our presence in STEM. I think we, there's so much more we can do, right? Um, so I was there to talk about our, uh, our training programs and how we help and women enter the DAS program. Either they want to learn um, our Comscope's products or they have already worked with it, they want to improve their skill sets. Now I want to make sure the trainings were not keeping them away from our field. So as a result, we're offering them free trainings um, for our ion products, so if any female, any woman um, is in the wireless technology, wants to improve their skill sets, please reach out to us. We'll be happy to get them on a class and then get them scheduled. Well, I think it kind of goes back to, if you look at um, high schools, right? You go back to the schools. Um, I think some of that comes there. When I went to my kids' um, junior high and we talked about my job. And when I look around how many people came there to talk about high technology jobs, Mostly it wasn't um, women, it was male dominated, right? So I think it starts from uh, high school, it starts from junior highs, encouraging people, uh, encouraging uh, women to take interest in science and, and encouraging that, yes, math is good, science is good for you, you can do it, right? I think that encouragement could be improved. And I think supporting them in the universities, getting into these roles and bringing them into companies like Comscope as interns, exposing them to some of these technologies and, and, and opportunities. And then getting into like our INE product, which, um, which overlaps our traditional wireless with the enterprise business and, and opening other verticals in which you know, women may be more comfortable with it. Banking, hospitals, right? So technology is not hardcore hardware only any longer, right? opening those doors and making them aware of how it could be used. And, and high-tech jobs are there, and, and I think we can excel at it as well. I'm excited about where we're headed. Um, our INE product is a game changer. Right? It, um, it's a universal platform that, that overlaps wireless with enterprise. So basically, it gives you coverage and capacity using infrastructure that buildings already have, CAT 6A, right? So it opens up all together new verticals for us, right? It opens up venues in which you, we have never been there. While DAS, traditional DAS has been 
you know, you, one could say not as intelligent. So it gives you the intelligent and the dynamics of being able to manipulate capacity on the go. Um, it gives you reuse of your infrastructures, you know, and also opens up to other, tech, other venues, other businesses that may not have thought of introducing wireless in their buildings um, because of RF and other technologies that they are not uh, set up for. Thousands of opportunities wait. What's holding you back? Submit your resume today to telecomcareers.net.